this course, I'm going to train you about kales crop production. Uh, kales, in other words, uh, other people call it uh, colored greens, and uh, in Swahili, they call it skumawiki. It's actually a vegetable that has gained prominence. It has gained importance as a staple uh, vegetable, uh, mostly among the urban dwellers. Uh, in you know in cities in urban centers and uh, this is because it is readily available because most most farmers grow it and because uh, of uh, being readily available then it is becomes affordable to the urban dwellers and also um, it also um, a good vegetable it is a vegetable that uh, as an agribusiness investor you can be able to grow it and is a vegetable that can be able to give you, uh, you know, a lot of money. It is a, uh, it can be profitable and become a venture uh, that you can be proud of. And therefore, many farmers has been have been growing uh, the kale crop, but uh, you find that um, uh, they are not growing it uh, in the way that it's supposed to be. And you find along the way they get losses here and there or if they don't maximize on their profitability. And hence, this program is geared towards educating you so that you are able to grow this um, vegetable crop, the kale crop, in a way that you are going to maximize your profitability. In this kale program, we are going to have several sections. And these sections are sections as the crop grows, so that you know in each section what is required so that you don't fall short of ex the expectations. And therefore, uh, the sections that we are going to deal with in this area, we are going to look at uh, seed selection. You know, the seed you can grow and the areas that seed, uh, this seed grow. Then from there, we are going to look at nursery uh, management. We are going to look at uh, once you establish this seed in the nursery, what you are supposed to do, everything that you are supposed to, uh, to do uh, so that this crop, and be able to grow very well. And then from there, we also look at um, land preparation, some of the aspects that you can be able to do so that you can, um, you know, you can establish your crop very well. We're also going to look at uh, the water, eh? the water that you are going to use. Where will it come from? Will, is it from, uh, um, you know, rain fed or is it from irrigation or water source? We are going to look at that. We're also going to look at uh, once this crop uh, uh, you know, leaves the nursery stage and then you take it to the field. We are going to look at the transplanting. How do you transplant? How do you apply the fertilizer? How do you apply the manure? How do you do the measurement? You know, the spacing for this crop. From there, we are going to look at this plant going into the starting stage. Uh, what happens there? What are the management aspects are you supposed to input in that stage? From there, we are going to go to the vegetative stage. We are going to look at uh, the management aspects that are going to be implemented in that stage. And then from the vegetative stage, we go to uh, the maturity stage. We see still the management aspect in this uh, stage. And then from there, we are going to go to the early harvest stage. Once you start harvesting, what you are supposed to do in that stage. And from there, from the early harvest, you are going to go to the continuous harvest stage such that you are able to know as you continue harvesting what you are supposed to do so that this crop can be able to have a prolonged period of harvest. And from there, we are going to go to the late harvest stage so that you are aware during late harvest what you are supposed to do uh, uh, during the late harvest. Uh, from there, we are going to look at uh, the harvesting technique as you harvest uh, what are the techniques that you are supposed to input um, and also uh, we are going to look at the post-harvest storage uh, what, you are, uh, what you can do uh, so that uh, the vegetable can be in tip-top condition from there we are going to look at uh, the market once you have this crop where, where is the market that uh, uh, you are going to sell your crop and from there we are going to look at uh, the gross margin because this is the ultimate if this venture is not profitable, then there's no need of, uh, you know, uh, doing all the effort to grow this crop. 
and therefore the gross margin will crown it all so that we are able to know to tell you that uh, you can grow this crop it can be profitable and therefore we give you uh, the green light so that you can be able to venture into kale crop production and along these uh, uh, all the sections that are mentioned uh, we are going to look at uh, the nutrition aspect of it we are going to look at uh, the uh, pest and disease control and we are also going to look at weeding you know weed control